Hello and welcome back. Mailbag time again. Regular viewers will be able to guess what's in here that um, I'm particularly keen on getting open today. No clues on here. All right, this is an electromagnet. Kind of got an interesting project idea that caused me to buy this, but hopefully that's something you'll see soon. Okay, let's take a look. It says free versions here. This one was 5 99 because it's the biggest one. So it claims to be able to lift 10 kilograms, 12 volts. I've got a sneaking suspicion now I've thought about this project a bit more that I don't need anything like this much strength, but we'll see. Okay, so this, I believe, is a lithium ion battery power supply. Okay, so this was £2.89 for the free cell version. Comes in a variety of different sizes depending on the voltage you want. And my primary goal with this device is to be able to hook up some batteries to it and not destroy them if I leave the device turned on. I don't think it does the balancing that I've seen other people show modules for. Nice little module. Right, this is paracord. Don't know what to say about this. Um, this is actually part of the same project idea as the electromagnet. I uh, severely doubt anyone will be able to guess what it's for though. Okay, this says wrapper. I think I know what it is there. The uh, variety of descriptions never ceases to amuse me. Yeah. So this is a 28 pin zero in portions for socket. like the pins aren't uh, entirely intact. Now these are actually quite cheap. Okay, so I've got the 28 pin version here, £2.97 plus £1.19 postage. And the packaging wasn't great, but um, 28 pins is the size of the ROM chips I'm using in the processor build, so I'm hoping to switch the main program memory up to uh, 256 kilobit E prom soon. And if I build one of these into main memory, it will make my life an awful lot easier. Remains to be seen how easy it is to fit it to a breadboard with all the connections used though. Okay. I've got a horrible feeling about this one. No. It actually felt quite squishy and I had a horrible feeling that I'd um, 
accidentally bought two, two lots of paracord because I was looking at different ones on different sites a, a bit. But no, I've got no clue what this is. Has been well packaged though, so I'm uh, going to be careful. It presumably means it's fragile. Okay, so these are carbon rods. I only wanted one of them, but it came as a pack of five. And I believe this is the last of the metal rods. I know carbon's not a uh, metal to anyone other than astronomers, but um, it's one of the last rods I was waiting for. So maybe I'll get around to that project at some point soon. I have a lot less free time at the moment, so I've been predominantly focusing on the CPU project. Relays. Okay, so this is a DC to DC solid state relay. Now there was a bunch of discussion on one of my previous mailbags concerning the fact that there's quite a lot of fake ones of these floating around and exactly what it means for the fake ones of um, their current handling capacity is, uh, is difficult to determine. But um, this is actually something that I bought that is probably massive overkill for driving this electromagnet because it can take three volts um, plus as the control input I'm hoping I can switch the power to this at a half decent current level um, from a, a logic line okay this is from little diode which I've bought from before I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Yeah, so these are the line driver chips. I bought a few quickly from these guys because I bought the wrong things in my last big order from DigiKey and uh, I knew they were going to be quick, but this is the same uh, brand that I've been using elsewhere. And they, they cut off part of a longer strip, so uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be okay. a battery charger and this is capable of taking larger cells than my uh, normal one I use for 18650s because I was hoping to use 26650s for um, the project I bought this for and from the weight I suspect this is what these are Should be a, a fun little one day build sometime when I've got a spare weekend afternoon. And then this is the big one. Now I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Um, and it arrived literally the day after I started work on the 
LCD display video in my processor series and had it arrived the day before things would have come out in a different order. As it was, I had to be patient and uh, not open this. So this is the masking tape that I've seen other people get. And this is the transfer register PCB. looks great. This was the first PCB that I completely hand rooted from scratch and um, for that reason I'm, I'm more proud of this than any of the other PCs I've done. So I very much hope it works. There's a kind of uh, ordered pattern to it that um, you just don't get when you're making heavy use of the auto router. I need to make some changes to the backplane PCBs on the processor to actually make room for this and then I'll be soldering this up. Looking forward to getting that in. Quite a varied haul this one. Hope you found this interesting and uh, I will be back fairly soon with the uh, soldering video for this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.